In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can put a new field in attribute table, which we have seen previously. We're going to look at it once again, and then we're going to see how we can calculate geometry uh, in this video. Okay, so let's begin. So at first, what you need to uh, know that that I have discussed in the previous video as well, that from view and then the data coordinate system, you need to choose the right UTM coordinate system to make any kind of calculations with units such as kilometers, meters, etc, etc. All right, since it is all right, I'm not changing it again. Now, what we need to do is we can go to, uh, since we're going to do it for these three, uh, country polygons here first let's do it for the bgd adm0 meaning the bangladesh now go to a right click there then go to open attributes table you'll open the attributes table now here what we are going to do is we're going to click on this drop down and then we're going to click on this add field here we go and now let's name the field area now the type is going to be float since we're calculating area precision and scale is zero click on ok and here you'll see a new field has been added called area now to calculate geometry what we're going to do is after clicking on the area you'll see however how many columns there are will be turned into this color meaning it has been selected so since it has only one column, it is going to select that. Sorry, not column, rows. Now, do a right click on that area. Then you'll see a option here that's called Calculate Geometry. If you hover your mouse there, then you can also get more information about it. And you can just read it from there. Now, let's just click on it. Click on Yes. There we go. Now we have to choose the right coordinate system here that we have already selected. Now the property we're going to calculate is going to be area, but we can also do parameter x coordinate of centroid, y coordinate of centroid. So we're just going to calculate the area here. And the units of calculation is going to be in square meters, but if I want, I can change it to square kilometers, uh, square miles. Uh, then we have acres in US. Okay, so let's take square kilometers here. All right, now click on OK. Okay, there you go. It is showing the area here that we have also seen in one of our previous videos uh, by using the measure, measure window. So we can say that it's uh, about pretty correct. All right, now let's cut that. There you go. Now, if I take the identify button, which you should be already accustomed to from one of the previous videos. Now click on this and here you'll see the area being added here. See that? Now if I click on this India shape file, you'll see there is no area here because we haven't assigned area to it yet. Now I'm going to do the same thing for India and Pakistan as well. So let's do it. Let's go to open attributes table. Now from here, we're going to go to add fields, name it area as a float value. Click on OK. Go to area, select the area, do a right click on it and then go to calculate geometry. Click on yes. It's going to be area instead of square meters. It's going to be in square kilometers. Click on OK. Yes and geometry has been calculated. Cut that. Now go to Pakistan again, click on it, go to open attributes table. Now if you go there, you'll see there is no area because we haven't assigned a field yet named area. Now add field, name it area, and then float value, click on OK. There you go. Click on that, do a right click. Calculate geometry, yes. Now it's going to be square kilometers again. The property is going to be area. Click on OK. Yes, and area has been calculated here. Okay, cut that up. There you go. Now use the identify button. Click on India. And you'll see the area is now available. Okay. And also, 
click on Pakistan you'll also see that area is now available now if you go to selection and do a select by attributes which we have also talked about in one of our previous videos you'll see see here is the uh, area field as well now it's only showing for park adm0 if you want for ind adm0 or bgd adm0 you need to uh, make sure that you have chosen the correct layer so let's do it for ind there you go now we have the area do a double click given equals to get unique values since it has only one value since it is only one polygon here so this is the value that's showing the only value showing here so uh, to do a special type of selection like this look by attributes uh, kind of has no meaning in this case but in other case it's going to come in very handy which we're going to see as we progress so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching if you have found the video to be useful please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one thank you